Thank you for clicking on the video, and this is Meow Mir. I hear meowing. We're going on full goofy mode. Taking it back to the classics, this is a reskin of Brimstone. And it makes a meowing sound whenever you shoot it. <laughs> really just straight up turning it into an entire Meow Mir from Terraria. We're gonna have fun with this item. And I will be committing. I will not be turning off the cat sounds. Are you crazy? And maybe we can get some cool synergies with this unique version of Brimstone. Ace of Spades is good. Treasure Room Suplex, that's a roll into deck of cards. And this gives me a Judgment, which is a secret room reroll. Hold on. Gonna need to use the Ace of Spades right there. Yeah, basically, I've had my fun with Isaac online. I experienced life, I was having a great time, but now I wanna take it back and have a bit of fun with whatever the heck this is. I'm thinking a secret room in this direction, which I'm correct. Boom, meow meow, indeed. <laughs> I imagine this is probably the sound that plays when you're actually playing Terraria. If so, good attention to detail. What about this curse room? Two black hearts, we take that to the next floor. Guarantee us some form of deal chance. Let's go beat the boss real quick. What you do if a demon child comes up to you and just starts meowing? <laughs> what are you gonna do in that situation? Do I want to roll this? I should take the passive and roll the treasure room to be fair. It's just the smutter option? Crack door? Yeah, I take it. Thank you. Starting off on downpour extra large today. No dross is a good time. We have a shade in this curse room. I'm actually gonna sacrifice a bit of HP and try and roll that instead. Since shade is... Uh, it's shade. <laughs> but a curse room reroll can always be super good. I just learned that these flies, these level 2 willows, they have nothing else to track onto. They'll track onto the default eternal flies. This room showcases this. I actually had no idea. First one, ah, uh, conjoined would be cool with Meowmir. I think we take the safe option here. That was definitely correct. And the second one has Dogtooth, which is really good. Ah, yeah, yeah, I'd say that's the better option. I'll play a bit of this Blood Bank as well, and then we're gonna do one more room, recharge the D6, and maybe get a fat reroll on whatever this curse room is. Also, revealed the ultra secret to myself via Cracked Orb. I don't have access to red rooms, but if on the off chance a red key or a crack key drops, I will be participating in that venture. But for now, I press space bar here and get false PhD. I love this item. It's always fun luck down yeah i take it with brimstone or sorry meow mirror it always feels important that you get some form of dps up i know we don't like to admit it let's be real but i'll say it i'll say what the masses are thinking but not saying we all understand that brimstone with like base damage really isn't all that <laughs> it doesn't feel right to disrespect brimstone like that but it is the truth you need a bit of dps ups to make this thing work blood fight for our first one could be scary but meow mirror is here to meow in your face and I just don't think there's anything this guy can do. We'll take the booster pack, and I think, you know, we've used our roll. <gasps> I'm not gonna lie, guys, that was I thought that was gonna be it. Two two of diamonds? I'm just gonna double up right now. Two. Anywho, yeah, I have no rerolls, so I think we just commit full-on angels, which feels weird because we have Meow Mir, which is basically just brimstone. But no, you know what? This is Meow Mir. I'm gonna fully immerse myself today, and you guys should as well. This is not brimstone. This is Meow Mir. We're playing Terraria right now. <laughs> is Calamity on? Yeah, that's based. Give me that range up. Absolutely not. I don't think there's anything I can do about it, though. I'll check the, the shop. Maybe there's a battery. Was that golden poop always there? <laughs> I wonder, I wonder who in the comments has uh, already gone buck wild thinking that I wasn't gonna get this thing. Give me that counterfeit penny. Yeah, that's right. I did check all my corners. I did peek properly, and I will be taking the starter deck as well. Uh, ooh, there is a battery pack. It's not gonna be the fattest reroll. I mean, it's boss room pool, but it's better than nothing. Also, wait a second. I, this is XL. I have pure dimension. I don't need to commit. I could roll like the knife piece or something. But since I've already started this, let me just see what this turns into. Okay, something halfway decent. I'll take that. And now let's go roll, uh, Rowley. <laughs> let's go roll that knife piece. All right, mirror dimension activated right next to the boss. I guess I'll just go fight. What are you guys snacking on today? We're going full on mat man mode. You better be snuggled up on a table, a bed, a couch, all of the above. Maybe even your desktop if you're feeling that frisky. <laughs> You don't even need to be snacking on anything. As long as you're vibing, then that means you're experiencing Matt Man. Let me get that damage up real quick and fight Min Min. This'll be fat, I'm sure. Dude, honestly, it's kind of soothing hearing the... 
I don't know, maybe, maybe that's just me. It does feel pretty nice just hearing the cat sounds. Isn't it like scientifically confirmed that like cat sounds are supposed to make you feel dopamine? Maybe that's why we like them? I don't know. I felt like I've heard that somewhere. I could be potentially making that up in my mind, but who cares for now? I'm going full on reroll moment. No, I'm not. I'm one short, dude. Learn to count and I have nothing left in my donation machine. Ah, <laughs> uh, who? I see. Well, I got money. I can rebuy those um, batteries and I'm also missing a room right here, which is have any so we're good re-roll oh man okay be right back another roll Ooh, that's pretty good to be honest with you i'm gonna be taking that no bombs does force us to go to normal floors back to flooded caves but good news is that since we did xl that basically counts for two floors and we have a high angel chance always nice to look at i like to make it at least 72 percent uh, which we can do that simply by blowing up a shopkeeper and we're planning to do that because we want to find secret rooms so really the only thing holding me back in life right now is no one in the world except where the heck are the bombs ah <laughs> oh, there you go double bombage that's what we like to see immediate treasure room as well and i'm not not gonna lie the intrusive thoughts immediately hit and i want to blow up all those mushrooms for a potential magic mushroom i'm not gonna do it but i just wanted to communicate that i really want to do it i'll stand strong and go for my secret room play though unless a reverse card shows up okay listen Come on. Oh my god, it was the same one! Now, there's a secret room next to me, and I don't really know what to do with this information, but it looks like there's only one place it could be. And I know there's only one place it could be right here. So this one's confirmed. We are finally getting bombs. Ooh, double sword heart's nice. I feel like it has to be right here. Oh, I see. <laughs> well, now it has to be right here. Bada bing, bada boom. Nothing in here. And I'm gonna let the thoughts get to me. Please have magic mushroom. It, it's gonna happen. One of these days, once every like two weeks, it, it happens and I freak out. No item in here. A little unfortunate. How about we just pop the judgment? We have a ton of hearts and a ton of coins. No matter which type of judgment we get, I think we could just pay them out. We get lucky and we get the coin one. Time machine is back on. This feels incredible. Oh my god. Damn near took my entire life savings. That's okay. I'm gonna reroll it. Oh! All right, everything is fine in the world. <laughs> We're now going to completely break our game. Full on Matman style. I'm telling you guys, I can feel the energy. You gotta turn off your brain today. It's gonna be a good one. I feel like this is always a nickel. You guys, you guys notice that? Or that's just me. I, this specific curse room. I feel like that middle coin is always a nickel. That could just be placebo by me, but I'm pretty sure I'm correct in that sense. I just black ruined, uh, but there's no coin in it. I still want to ace of hearts as well. This is the room to do it, but no soul hearts, no eternal. So that's okay. Finally found the treasure room. Oh! I forgot I had glitch crown. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> Oh no, are you kidding me? I feel like I have to reroll. I'd be too disappointed in myself if I didn't reroll. Okay, hold on. Let me see if I can uh, spawn an angel. If we don't, which I actually hope we don't, we'll use our reroll there and get a better item. I wanted to get the chili, but I realized even then the chili wouldn't be that good. Since I've taken a negative luck down pill just for a bit of damage, so a uh, chili would not have even been that good. Maybe we can land something better. Let's go fight this boss and see what happens. Right after I murder your ass. <laughs> All right, what do you want? Gurdy looking thick as ever. How you doing? Looking a little green there as well. Maybe you want to work on that. Now, I know it may be hard to believe, but six base damage with Meow Mir is a pretty easy Gurdy fight for me. High angel chance. We did land it and I have to roll it. I'm sorry, guys. Come on. It just has to be done. Boom. And I will not mess this up a second time. Don't worry. You got to trust me. There you go. It's important that we get this for bookworm progress as well as the extra soul heart. This is going to be big. 10 items. Boom. I see some good stuff. Oh, oh there's a mantle. I want it, dude. And habit. Oh, my goodness. Habit. I have no way to self damage, though. If I did, I would self damage in this room. <laughs> But I will be taking habit and that lets me reroll the treasure room. And in that sense, it all kind of works out. I'm going to combine the powers of habit and holy mantle together. That way I have some way to always take damage and have a reason to take damage. And a way to prevent damage because we're going to get really low with me of using D6 plus habit right now. Oh, there you go. I mean, I, I was going to happen anyway. <laughs> I didn't even go in this direction. Go get him, Meow Mir. Oh my god, I missed a whole ass arcade. Dude, they got the best games in here. Oh, they got Pac-Man. 
They got Galaga. They even have Space Invaders. Okay, we're done. <laughs> Uh, this is definitely the best way to use my habit over and over again. Hello? You, I mean, conjoined. I said I wanted that. Hey, works for me. Hold on. I repent for my sins. Please give me a good item. Oh, dude, I love Tech Point 5. But, ah, oh, man. I feel like I can get more, dude. I have so much more role potential. Look at all the hearts I have. I have a blood bank. I have, I have a demon beggar. Just kidding. I don't have a blood bank. But I do have a demon beggar. I kind of, I kind of blew that machine up, didn't I? Let's just see what happens when I play this demon beggar. Maybe he gives me an excuse to use more of my habit five and six and then pay out oh he gave me a okay all right well i can take a hint okay <laughs> again uh still pretty cool i mean honestly the mom's eye is even more interesting than tech point five there just because i feel like having mom's eye double meow mirror would be pretty sick i might just put that on the screen so you guys get to see it yeah i know that was pretty nasty huh all right, hello. Gimpy, oh my goodness. They're literally just building the perfect D6 run for me. <laughs> All I need is for this to not pay out really fast, and I think I can basically roll this as much as I want at this point. If I'm lucky with Gimpy, I really shouldn't have taken that luck down at this point. I don't feel like that damage was worth it. The rig potential is too high. Doesn't matter that much, but something worth to mention. Hold another roll, oh hi. Conjoined. Do I do it all for the conjoined? I will. Conjoined Meow Mirror, does this work? Oh yes! I will now have the ability to roll anything I could possibly want and get anything I could ever want. So you just know with that kind of power, I'm gonna give money to this guy. And he's gonna pay out with a pedestal and it's gonna roll oh, into Jacob's ladder. Gonna need that. Uh, I don't care about the blood pack anymore. <laughs> I guess I'll, I'll play it until I get rid of all my red hearts. Roll my d6 a bit more. Charge my d6 a tad, but then I'm gonna go. I guess I'll also take Squeezy since I'm missing two soul hearts. Pick up that red heart. Still no bombs. <laughs> still, still no bombs. Still struggling on that front. Okay, average deal chance, but Jacob's Ladder will carry us. Let's check the Holy Mantle area, otherwise known as the Curse Room. I would have laughed so hard if this was another reverse Wheel of Fortune. Mob Challenge Room. Red Chest makes me unironically feel like I should do that. I might come back, uh, but I should save my rolls because that is a three room charge ever since they changed that a while back. I do remember the days way back when Mob Challenge Rooms only gave you like one charge. That was insane. It always felt weird because Boss Rush would give you charges through waves, but not mob challenge room so i'm happy they changed it back there's just some god items i know pyromaniac was right there and i could have taken it absolutely but i feel like having a homing brim is just way too classical to not take especially when it meows at you i mean come on dude another shop Ooh, options yeah gonna need that you think the severity of the meow actually indicates how much damage you're doing? <laughs> like if the meow is really visceral, like that cat is just that hungry, you do like two times the amount of damage you're doing. I like to think that, that's kind of hilarious. Uh, you yeah, know what? If I go fight right now, I have a potential for a double roll due to that large room, potential small room, and mob challenge room, which has three charges guaranteed. So let's just go and see what we have in our boss because I might be able to spawn a double rangel. And one of those with one of my glitched crowns is basically GG. Oh, what did I say? Okay, hold on. Ah, uh, nothing. Oh my god, look at that. I, I look at it. Like, oh, oh my god. I can't even speak. I'm literally speechless. You guys can see now how similar. I am not making it up. Star, Bethlehem, and Eden's Soul are. They are way too similar. I don't have a bomb for the angel, unfortunately. I really didn't think I was going to get it. It was more like a haha, what if? But oh well, I'm going to roll. Oh! I'm gonna need that immediately. Something I noticed as well is that Isaac and the music did not start playing until Sacred Heart actually showed up. That was that was awesome. Because I react to like the song playing. When the song plays, I'm like, okay, this got to be good. So I like that those like three first items showed up and I was like, ah, oh, it's whatever roll. But then I just got blasted like, oh my god, there's that beautiful sprite right there. The one of dreams. Running the Sacred Meow Mirror plus Glitch Crown. Everything is dying immediately. This is the case of the reason why you shouldn't take uh, Homing Tears. <laughs> Pyromaniac by definition was a better choice. And I had a feeling that was going to happen to me to be honest with you. But oh well. I know there's a goddamn cross space in here and I have no bombs! Curse of the Lack of Explosions. Hello? Is this a new one they introduced? It came with the Isaac update. They added a new curse where you get no bombs. Oh, should I go alternates? I think I will. How did I come in here with only one play? 
Did the, did the holy mantle count? Oh, was it cracked orb that opened it because I took damage? Usually you're supposed to spend two hearts to go in here. That's why I'm confused. All right, another low deal chance, but we've seen that my luck today is pretty immaculate. Grabbing random glitched crowns and sacred hearts everywhere, landing the most random angel room. So for all I know, I'm just going to get another angel. I want to do that mega chest we just saw in that mob challenge room as well, uh, but we're going to save that for later. Oh, hi. Chaos card? Oh my god. Who do we want to do to- ooh, well, yeah, I'm gonna stop my sentence right there. <laughs> Who are we going to destroy with the chaos card is a big question we have. Can't do Gideon, we've passed them already. Maybe we just uh, use it on some form of final boss. I'd like to use it on Hush, I haven't used it on Hush in a long time. Siren's done, no angel this time, that's fair. I'll just take the basic tears up because I actually need it, my charge rate's pretty slow on my Meow Mir. Who is still constantaneously meowing. And let's go find our treasure room and shop. Oh, hi, dude. I don't need you, though. Ooh. 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 Tiny planet? Rare case where a tiny planet might be the most hype thing we could have gotten. Oh my god, it's true. Part of me wants to remove the Jacob's Ladder just so that we can see how, like, cool the Meow Mirror would look like with Conjoined and the tiny planet. Should I do that? I'm- I'm gonna- hold on, I'm gonna do that. Yeah, it's a DPS down, but I mean, look at my damage anyway. It didn't work, never mind. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, I got it back again. Thank you. There's more damage. Cool. We definitely didn't need Cupid's arrow. Tier rate back down, but this time it's so over, dude. Meowmir is going way too hard, dealing far too much damage. And I'd like to buy balls. But before I buy balls, there is a Diplo, and I think it's important that I check where the secret room is. Because what if there's an item in here and I Diplo it? Even if it's like on top of you. All right, that was like a really, really big cope. Alright, fine. I've been waiting to do this all floor. What do you got? Okay, hello. Tons of stuff, but nothing I'm too interested in. Most I would want is the belly button, but uh, even then, it's not too cool. How about we roll? What? Wafer? Oh, wafer ghost pepper. Do I atone for my sins? I think I do, actually. Hold on. I can't- I- I- this- I'm not making this up, I swear to god, guys. <laughs> I like to have many layers upon layers of jokes within these videos so that you have to watch at least 100 of them to be on the same wavelength as me. And when you get there, you know that you're a Matman viewer forever. However, this one's not a joke, I'm literally just trash. <laughs> Alright, make up for our sins, come on. Ooh, okay, alright, I'll take that. Or will he take it? Or will he mess it up again? Oh my god, that damage, Jesus! <laughs> and then the rest of these I don't care about. It looks like there's a battery in that room, but I think it's a... I don't know if it's a little battery or not. I, I, I'll, I'll go check. Ooh. Oh yeah, it's super worth. That's a full reroll. For what, one heart? Totally worth it. What in the goddamn hell is that ultra secret room? <laughs> that one is devious. That is actually a devious ultra secret. What is that placement? That is only a connected to one other red room. No one would ever guess that. Oh! Stacking on the quality fours today. Trying to get as many as we can on a single run. I like to count how many I can get. Let's go for like 10 or something. Because honestly, with the amount of rig potential I have, it might not actually be that unfeasible. I've just created a new word. Now let's go down. Mausoleum 2. No Gehenna. You should not have. Also, my heart sank for a second because I did not recognize the Meow Mir sound. It was a while since I shot and I was like, what the hell? That is not what Brimstone sounds like. I was shocked to my core for real, for real. Oh, look at that! It also affects the flies! What? <laughs> That's awesome! I had no idea, dude. So it affects all form of brimstone lasers. That means, I suppose, if we come across a brimstone bloodshot eye, we know for a fact that guy will be destroying us with the Meow Mir. Here's all our special rooms. I've noticed today all our shops and treasure rooms are just hiding together. Like a nice little pocket of uh, sanctuary, which we can take advantage of. The first one have it. Oh my god, more brimstone. What is this gonna make me shoot? Like six shots? Now in random directions. Mutant spider plus 2020. Whoa my god. Boom. And then right here we have a mom's purse, which I wanted earlier because I did want the belly button, so we'll take this. And then buy everything that we can because balls needs to proc as much as I can make it proc. Take the chaos card. And do I care about the curse room enough to walk back all the way? Yeah, I will. Of all the special rooms in Isaac, I always love curse rooms. I used to not when I very, 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 very first started playing. And this was like maybe two weeks into me first starting to play Isaac. But once you learn like how to manage your health better, I, I see there's absolutely no reason you shouldn't always just check these things. They've gotten from risk reward to you lose a bit of HP. It's basically always a reward. <laughs> Maybe it goes against what the initial vision for this thing was, but I don't care. Listen, it's cool. These things go hard. Soul 
of Apollyon. So I'm not the only one that thinks that voice line is weird. I can't be, I, I refuse. All the other narration voice lines are like, oh yeah, I, I get it, that makes sense. But that one, I am so certain that for some reason, the mic peaked in that one. <laughs> I have, I get a sound clip of a normal narration, and then the sound clip of the Apollyon one. I swear I hear the microphone peak, and it's been bothering me ever since Repentance ever popped up, and I swear I can't be the only one thinking this. Someone's gotta get a fix for that real quick. <laughs> Hi, Mom. It's hard, Mom, but I also have insane Yamir powers. I've actually gone perfection mode. Jesus, that's insane. Should I go down? Uh, yeah, you know, I, I should. Why not? And then in here, Devil actually, Satanic, packed some cool stuff. Is it the craziest thing I've ever seen? Not really, though. I think we buy Satanic just to get another quality four locked into our inventory, sort of, quote unquote. But also because I want to roll it and it gave me Bookworm. Now we get Goat Head, which is a take, and Guppy's Tail, absolutely. Now you guys know the song and dance. If I'm able to take Guppy's Tail all the way to the dark room or chest, we'll have a wonderful time. So we'll take the Goat Head, and it might be time for us to implement a little bit of perfection smuggling you already know how it is if you've never gone and smuggled perfection before it's real simple you enter a floor draw perfection and you leave it alone <laughs> So instead, we remove the ability to lose it all together, and as long as we don't skill issue and forget by the time we're trying to leave the floor and go back and pick it back up, there's no risk to this strategy whatsoever. Boom. What is my goddamn damage? I actually got a devil. Alright, calling me surprised. Devils are better while blind because you can- never mind. Uh, Empty vessel. Cool, thanks. I was gonna say devils are better while blind because you can see how many hearts they take and judge if it's gonna be a better item or not, whereas angels are kind of a top up that is a case for going devils above angels when you're blind to be fair at that point i have to just hold it what is with all these god cards this is a get out of jail freak i can go fight mega satan <laughs> And I have it coupled with a chaos card. I think there's potential to cook and have something great right here. With a side order of me being an absolute beast. Unfortunately, there's nothing in there. So I think we just go. Oh, hello. You were anything I was expecting. Do I want anything to do with you though? I mean, Toxic Shock would literally be GG. I have 70 base damage. I walk in a room, everything would die. But that isn't fun. That would be just too easy. Roll? Oh, Lacrophagy, that's that's better. Oh, never mind. It's polydactyly. What do you have in store for me today? Oh, okay, everyone shut up. This is all assuming I get a form of pedestal. I don't know if I can, but I'm gonna try and maximize. Oh, oh, oh my god. Okay, alright, hold on. Hold on, hold the phone. Contract from below or red key. But red key would be big because I have the knowledge of where the ultra secret is probably if i just afk here fast enough please show it to me man okay thank you <laughs> all right we're doing it boom double quality four per pedestal hello not messing that one up hello c section uh joker right now yeah i have bombs uh hello uh hmm. nothing nothing too crazy i mean there's guppy to be fair but is guppy worth like taking away a pedestal that could be five other items i don't think so i think i roll oh and that's why because that guppy turned actually into an incubus i guess i could also roll this oh it feels kind of wrong though <laughs> Oh, it feels wrong rolling, dude. There's like a restock machine right there. I think I have to. It's the better off. I mean, hey, wait a second. What if it gives me magic skin? Magic skin? Magic, there's flip, there's euthanasia. There's no magic skin. Oh my goodness. I have a lot of damage. Some of the Meow Mirrors have actually come back. The sprites started working again. That was the craziest thing. We have a solar forgotten. And there was a delirium spawn, what? But I'm committing all my time and resources to this. This is what I want to do. I'm certain that it's the correct play. Oh! Now, using this is gonna kind of bonus over in the dark room, but I, I just have to know. This, they gave me a literal free restock machine. I have to. We gotta keep magic skin in our hands just so that we don't roll into it. Oh! Oh my god, do I take anything here? I don't think I have any good spin downs. I don't think I do. That would turn into Parasite, which would be funny. <laughs> we have to be extra special careful as well, because we are literally 2 HP from death at all times now. We cannot mess around. I don't want to lose this build. It's actually so strong. So now we can pick up Magic Skin and then continue to roll. Oh! I, I think I roll. Oh, it hurts so much. Don't. 
don't mess with me. Please. Where's the rock? Oh! Totally worth it. Definitely the correct play, I think. I was concerned of using an Arky. I really wanted to. We've already used Magic Skin once, and I don't want it to just go crazy and just ruin an entire Arky. I've been traumatized the last time I tried doing that. <laughs> alright, alright. I can see when it's time to go, and it's right now. I'd appreciate a dead cat. That would make living this a lot easier. I kind of want all of these, dude. That sucks. Well, that those last two aren't really that good, but oh well. How about I just hold off? Maybe we'll get some more- Oh my god. I don't know what happened to my run, to be honest. I think Parasite might have gone a little bit too hard. Okay, and I think I've gone and completely ruined my game. Oh my god, I pressed Q by accident. Does it really matter? I was gonna one-shot Mega Satan. <laughs> Ooh, hello. Uh, I think we take the razor blade here, definitely. Apple's too strong, even with low luck. The chance for it to proc is really good. Oh, hi. Uh, yeah, I can I can open these for free. Oh! I want the Ipecac, dude. There's a mutant spider! Gimme, gimme. If I were to take Ipecac or Dr. Fetus, which would I rather want? Probably Ipecac. Ipecac has a like clear route on like how it's gonna kill me I feel so it's gonna be way more fun So here's here's my dilemma. How can I survive two hits of damage on the lamb fight? How about we take the strength card? That'll give us a bit of HP ah! I refuse to accept defeat that way. I am the product of my own downfall and that's okay I'm gonna stick with it. We will keep the Ipecac on and I will find a way to beat Mega Satan like this How am I gonna do this? I don't have the health. Okay, let's use the strength Pop it and try not to die. Walk out immediately. <laughs> Let me out, please! <laughs> uh, how am I gonna fight Mega Satan, guys? Wait a goddamn second. All right, check the vision. It worked last time. What if it works right now? I've burned a lot of the secret pool. What if I use magic skin right now, get that certificate, and then I can like blast myself with HP with like lard or something, or I don't know, like raw liver. Boom. Uh, everything should just die before anything can even happen. So let's just test this out. Maybe it works out for me. Here we go. Let's try it. Devil card right away. Didn't even do anything. Here we go. I'm also shooting IBS, which is kind of tough for me. But I'm just hoping that the Meow Mir goes crazy. And it currently is. Oh my god. <laughs> it's everything I could have wanted. There's an item there. And I was worried about my HP when they're just randomly spawning forever loans and HP ups. <laughs> Have you guys noticed that whenever you kill a mini boss really fast on the Mega Satan fight, it gives you the drop? I, I don't know why that bug happens, but we're done. Wow. I hope you guys had a wonderful day and keep doing what you're doing, dude. GG's.